What's going on YouTube? Retrospective Dave here, and you are now tuned into another episode of Guided Laces. Today's episode features the Valor Blue Air Jordan 3, also known as the University of North Carolina Jordan 3 Retro. Before we get into the video, I just want to say that Guided Laces is not a review. However, it is a video designed to offer peace of mind to sneakerheads that were unable to purchase their shoes at retail stores and had to resort to buying their sneakers from secondary markets like eBay and StockX. In today's video, I will go over every detail about the shoe to the best of my ability, and hopefully that will give you some reassurance that you got what you paid for. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the shoe. All right, first things first, here's a copy of my receipt. I purchased these on March the 7th, 2020 at 10.33 a.m. Uh, the item description is the Air Jordan Retro 3 UNC, white gray, white light blue. Retail was 190. $13 in taxes came out to $203.30. All right, taking a look at the box label, you have Air Jordan 3 Retro. Your official colorway is white, valor blue, tech gray. Your style code at the bottom is CT8532104. These were made in China. You have your FRID code next to the QR code right here and a suggested retail price of $190. All right, so one thing to make note of is that when you look at the lid, the lid is a very, very light blue, like a sky blue. And when you compare it to the blue on the shoe, the shoe is actually a lot darker than the box top lid. So keep that in mind when you order your shoes, the lid should be a lot lighter than the blue on the shoe. All right, just to give you a 360 of the box top, you should have a Jumpman Air on the right side of each end of the box. There should be one on this end, one on that end, both on the right side. And if you pay attention to the Jumpman, See if I can focus here. The jump man should be slightly tilted over the air and the heel of his foot is pointing directly down the middle of that R. And it's the same way on the other side. So jump man should be slightly tilted down to the right and the ball of his foot or his heel should be pointing through the center of the R. All right, so when you open up your shoe box, you're gonna have elephant print paper on the inside. I don't know if my camera is picking this up, but the front half where the elephant print is, is going to be like a wax material. It's going to feel very waxy to the touch. The back half is just going to feel like dry paper, like some uh, tracing paper that you would get at an art store or something like that. That's what it's going to feel like on the back side on this part. But on this side, it's going to have a waxy material. Like I said, I don't know if my camera is picking it up, but when you have the paper in hand, you'll be able to feel the difference between the front half and the back half. So wax on the front and on the back half should just feel like paper. One thing I noticed that Jordan Brand and Nike did differently this time around was that they didn't use any numerical stamps. So when you take the box lid off and you look underneath it, you won't find any stamps anywhere. Um, you won't find any stamps inside of the box. And also if you look, there's no quality control sticker at all. So when you open up your box, it should just be red. You might have some box dimensions in the corner and those will vary depending on the size. But other than that, there's nothing inside the box, just plain red. All right, if you look at the part of the box that has the elephant print on it, these are the dimensions for a size 12. Um, I can't speak for the size 13s or anything under a 12, but these are the dimensions for a 12. And here are the dimensions for the lid itself for a size 12. When you flip the box over, this is what you will see underneath. Um, I know you can't see everything that's on here because it's out of focus but I wanted you to just get like a full view of what's on the bottom half of the box. So up here you would have Nike written out, you would have the swoosh logo, you would have swoosh actually written out on the third, um, you would have aerosol as the fourth, Jumpman as the fifth, and then you would have the recycling logo as the sixth icon. Over here you have your Jordan Wings logo, your Jumpman. If you flip the box around, over here, this text up here reads, these airsole brand shoes contain airsole brand insoles. Over here to the left, you have Nike, and then you have Nike's address. But everything you see on the bottom of this box is a part of the box, meaning there's no stickers or anything underneath the Air Jordan 3 box. So for example, if you look at this box, this is an actual sticker. Everything else is a part of the box, but this is a sticker. You won't find any of that on the Jordan 3 UNC box. Finally, for the moment that everyone has been waiting for, we can finally start talking about the shoe itself. So let's get into it. So there's really nothing much to say about this shoe in terms of the outside part, because um, it's very basic, but it's a very clean 
shoe to say the least so I guess I can go over some of the stitching patterns with you um, if you look closely on this part right here it's double stitched and then it also has a stitch going down diagonally right here also if you look at the cement print on the front you will uh, see double stitches with, with two stitches going across and you will also see one stitch on the back so double stitched on the front and single stitch on the back um, you also have double stitching going across the heel tab single stitching going up around through here and you will have double stitching here as well uh, that's all I could see for the outside as far as the leather goes I mean it's nice leather it's not the best that I felt but it's a decent quality leather but the same leather here will be the same leather in here um, I've had some threes where this part is a little bit different in material than the top part but this part should be the same as this part right here taking a look at the air bubble or the uh, air unit it should be like a milky color like an off-white like a cream cream color I'd say um, it's not blue it's not gray but it's definitely like a like a white like a cream color white all right on the tongue it's gonna be a very smooth leather so it's not gonna be tumbled like this here it's gonna be very smooth you will have the jump man raised a little bit so there's gonna be navy blue stitching on the back half and UNC blue on the front half uh, so it's very bold it's a very bold stitching and one thing I noticed what people are calling for lack of a better term the butt crack part right here you can actually see like a little separation there so that's what your stitching should look like you should see that and the tongue should be like a very smooth leather and that's all for the tongue all right behind the tongue you should have heart and soul stitched in red um, it's gonna have like a red stitching on that red tab as well so it's not white it's, it's all red stitching um, if you notice on the part that says heart the period is a little bit spaced out from the T whereas the period on the L is almost touching so that's my pair let me know if your pair looks like that as well um, it could be a factory flaw or maybe it's not but the period on the L or right after the L is very close to that L like they're almost touching but the period after the T it has a little bit of space so let me know in the comment section if your pair looks like this all right here's a look at the insole this is pretty different um, I'm used to seeing the painted on Jumpman here but we have a different thing going on now this is similar to what we saw uh, stitched on the back of the Air Jordan 5 Michigan colorway that came out last year but uh, with the stitching here as you can see it's in Carolina blue or that UNC blue Valor blue whatever you want to call it if you flip it over on the back side it's Carolina blue and navy blue so it's like double stitched if you pay attention to the lettering um, all of the letters are not perfectly aligned together so one thing that stuck out for me was this U and this R how they're like off center with each other the R is shifted a little bit to the right to the left the U is shifted to the right and it's the same on this insole as well so pay attention to that U in quality and the R in products the R is shifted a little bit to the left the U is shifted a little to the right um, if your insoles come in the mail and they're all of the letters are lined up perfectly then that might be a red flag because this is uniform to the uh, left insole also make note of this part as well um, it's not stitched down even though it's stitched on the side this part is not stitched down so you can take your finger and do like that and it's on it's the same on both insoles so if you order from StockX or eBay or you get them from someone else off the street just make sure that you're able to run your finger through the back side of this tab right here all right so flipping the insoles over on the right insole you have AJ 11 QF 8H MS 12K and you have this R 
trademark right here if you notice the R is not touching the circle it's sitting inside of the circle but they're not touching each other um, and I don't know if this AJ 11 stands for Air Jordan retro 11 or if it's just a random 11 but I noticed that the left insole is a little bit different with this MS 12 this says 12 D and this says 12k so i don't know if that 12 is for the size 12 being that these are size 12 or if, like i said or if it's just random but uh there goes that r trademark again like i said the r is not touching the circle so let me know in the comment section if your insoles look like this on the bottom or if you have different numbers um especially in this ms section right here all right, so this is what the inside of the shoe looks like. I'm sorry for the lighting if you can't really see that, but there should be uh, white stitching on the inside, nothing else, no blue, no other colors but white stitching. You will see a piece of tape that is taped down to the excess threading. And also right in here, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I, uh, I don't have a pin on me. But right in here is like a little white circle and you will also see it on the other shoe as well it's like a little white circle right in here um, again taped threading all white threading on the inside so when you order from StockX or eBay the inside of your shoe should look like this with that little white circle on both shoes Right, here's a shot of the tag my production dates are September 18th 2019 uh, to December 21st 2019 so uh, your dates should be somewhere in between these dates here or maybe a little bit before or a little after here's my UPC code you have your QR code made in China down at the bottom I'm trying to get all of it in focus and your style code, this is what the tag should look like. All right, last but not least, here's a look at the outsole. Um, if you notice, the outsole has a lot of stars on it. So the only parts that don't have stars would be this Carolina blue part here, it's smooth. This navy blue portion in here doesn't have stars. And these little pockets here don't have stars. Well, over here but everywhere else in the gray stars all over even on the back even this little part right here has stars but these little pockets and where else and over here no stars and that's pretty much it all right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. This concludes today's episode of Guided Laces on these UNC Air Jordan 3s. I hope this video was useful to you. Again, like I said before, Guided Laces is not a review. This is literally for the people that missed out on buying the shoe at retail. So uh, it's just to give you a peace of mind for when you buy your shoes from eBay or StockX. This is just like a reference point for you to compare shoes because you may not know anybody personally that has a retail pair. So um, I'm just taking the time out to do this video to give you all a peace of mind to at least uh give you some reassurance that you got what you paid for so i will be doing more videos like this in the future so to keep up with me please subscribe to the channel don't forget to write in the comment sections if you have any questions or if you just want to chit chat about sneakers let me know how you feel about these shoes personally and uh until then stay fresh blessed free of stress and i will see you all in the next video peace